This is breaking news. Mary Scott Keys, waitress at Wings and Rings, advances to Hollywood on American Idol. A Mary Scott Keys has been singing seriously since she was 11 years old. Homeless at the time, he spent two years looking for music studios in her home state of Connecticut and began writing songs for other people at 13 as a means to make money for her family. Keys quit music three or four years ago until recently when she auditioned for American Idol, a show that she had started watching from the very first season. During her audition, she impressed celebrity judges Lana Ritchie and Katy Perry with her rendition of She Used to be mine to earn her golden ticket to Hollywood. Keys, 29 and currently a waitress at Wings and Rings in Richmond, said she auditioned for the show after her and her mother had breakdown in their relationship over Keys' transition to becoming a transgender woman. I think the genuine breaking point for me to audition and do this stuff probably had a lot to do with my mother and I no longer speaking, he said. But also I think at the time I just wasn't happy. I was overwhelmed. I was stressed. And like I said, music became this coping mechanism for me. Key's mother was diagnosed with Moya Moya disease, a rare and progressive brain disorder that's caused by blocked arteries at the base of the brain. Key's mother was just 28 years old at the time and Key's was 8. What ended up happening was the spread of disease causes strokes when she gets stressed out, she said. She couldn't watch the news, and she couldn't do a lot of things. But with that, she also had specific ways that she wanted me to be, states of being that she preferred for me. With Keys being aware that her mom knew she was an honest person, he said that she felt she didn't have to keep her identity hidden, but she couldn't act on it, adding that the two had agreed that she would live in a way that was best for her mom. That lasted until about a year ago, when Keys decided to go through with everything that would make her happy, which ultimately severed their relationship. My whole reason for singing and whatnot was to take care of my mom, he said. For a while leading up to transitioning, I was not going to do music anymore. I wasn't really happy. Something about it wasn't clicking to me. Once that relationship was genuinely severed, she said, I was given the opportunity to audition. I had somebody send me a link, and I was like, why not do what I want to do and live life I want to live? And then I wound up on the show. Keys has never considered herself a huge vocalist, instead preferring to be considered a storyteller or poet that enjoys singing. Growing up, Keys was involved in a number of extracurricular activities. For a while, she sang in the church choir, but eventually quit after she said her mother's comments on her existence made her feel uncomfortable being there. Beginning in 8th grade, Keys tried out musical theater performance, but didn't really do anything else until transferring to another high school in Waterbury, Connecticut, her senior year. The music teacher was like, you're a very talented individual and you're not trained. And then he started to feed me some of the bits and pieces of music education, understanding theory and whatnot. And then I kind of developed more of a passion to understanding music. And that's when I went to school, she said. Prior to performing in front celebrity judges Richie, Perry, and Luke Combs, Keys had to audition for American Idol producers and advance past that round. You hear back from them, and you audition for the people that are really going to be like, you know, I can see this person, she said. And then you go on and do your whole audition in front of the judges, which is crazy. Being on TV in and of itself is a whole process, so it was very interesting. Keys wasn't scared or nervous to be performing in front of three of the music industry's biggest names. She was just tired after having waited to audition for about 15 hours. I was one of the last people on my date in my city, and I was falling asleep before I walked in, she said. I was trying really hard not to, because once you fall asleep, it takes about two hours for your voice to warm back up. And I was like, I cannot fall asleep. I have to stay awake, or I'm not going to be able to sing. When she eventually auditioned in front of the judges, he said the experience was extremely validating, adding that regardless of what they were going to tell her about her singing, the fact that she made it as far as she did gave her the push she needed. As far as her song choice, She Used to Be Mine actually was not the song that Keys auditioned with. She initially sang Toxic by Britney Spears with jazz and bluesy undertones as a way of putting her own spin on the song. 